a DIY Christmas gift ideas video. <laughs> Yay! We are super excited to be making this video because you guys seem to be really excited about these videos. Yes, you really seem to enjoy them, so we're super excited to be sharing these ideas with you guys. We've got four different, very unique, cute, and easy and affordable gift ideas to show you guys. So without further ado, why don't we just get started? This two-in-one DIY is a personalized mug cake recipe mug and mug cake mix. To start off, begin with a plain white mug. Then with a Sharpie, begin writing anything you want. But I decided to go with a mug cake theme and write a recipe for chocolate mug cake on the mug. Wow, I've said the word mug like 80 times. Once you're done writing and you're happy with the finished product, pop your mug in the oven and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Let your oven heat up while your mug is in the oven. Dramatic temperatures will potentially make your mug crack. You want to keep your mug in the oven for about an hour, but while it's in there, you can begin working on your mug cake mix. Now, if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you would have seen my old video on chocolate mug cake. I'm using the same exact recipe here, and it will be linked down below. But what I'm doing is just adding the dry ingredients into the bowl, mixing them all together, and then transferring the dry mixture into a small plastic gift bag. And finally, I spruced it up with this little red bow. Once the mug is done and it has cooled, plop the mix bag into the mug and it is ready to gift. This next gift idea is a DIY decorative box. You will first need some pretty napkins of your choosing and a wooden box of any shape or size. You can find these at pretty much any craft store. I'm taking a single napkin and I'm peeling off the white under layer, making sure to be careful to not rip the napkin. Next, I'm tracing the shape of the box on the bottom of the napkin, lightly with a pencil so that it doesn't show through. After that is traced, I'm cutting the circle shape out with some scissors and I'm placing the napkin circle on the box, adjusting it until I know kind of what direction to glue it on. You're going to want to use either Elmer's glue or Mod Podge to glue the napkin to the top of the box. And I'm starting off with a paintbrush, painting glue onto the box and then gently pressing the napkin down until the entire thing is glued securely. And next, I'm painting a layer of glue on top of the napkin, which will make sure that it's glued down even more securely and also serve as kind of a glaze, sealant type deal. After that, I'm letting the top dry while painting the rest of the box with a beautiful gold paint. You don't have to paint your box, but I felt it worked best with the color scheme of the napkin that I chose. You definitely don't have to stick with this format with your box either. You can always cut out parts of the napkin in different shapes and apply it onto your box however you want. As you can see, I made this next box a lot more Christmassy, but this DIY doesn't necessarily have to be strictly holiday themed. You can use Christmas napkins, pattern napkins, napkins with phrases, any kind that fits the theme that you want for your box. I found these napkins at World Market, but I know they have them in lots of other places too. After you've left your boxes to dry, they are ready to be gifted and you can fill them with chocolates to give as a chocolate box or you could just leave it as is to keep jewelry in. I think this DIY is so cute and it's super easy and affordable to put together. Now the last gift I'm going to show you guys how to make is this candy cane chocolate lollipop bouquet. Begin by preheating your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then line a cookie sheet with wax or parchment paper. Then begin placing your lollipop sticks on the wax paper and get your candy canes and arrange them side by side so they look like hearts. You can use any size or flavor of candy cane that you want. I just went with a regular peppermint flavor and I did a whole bunch of little small ones and one big one. Then you're going to pop your candy cane sheet into the oven for about three to four minutes. When you take them out, they are going to be soft enough so that you can mold them into a more distinct heart shape and glue them to the stick. Then when your candy canes have cooled, go ahead and fill them with melted chocolate. I did white chocolate and dark chocolate just to add some variety to the bouquet. And then I top them with some crushed candy cane just to add some cute little festive decorations. Then you're going to let your chocolate set and cool and begin creating the base of your structure, which is just a flower pot and a foam ball that I got at craft stores. Then you're going to start wedging your lollipops into the ball and continuously do that until you have a full looking bouquet. I added this golden bow for some festive flair and there you go guys, that is the finished gift. This next 
gift idea is a DIY box of sunshine and all you need to give someone a box of sunshine is a box and a bunch of yellow stuff. You of course need to label the box so I'm first using a pencil just in case I mess up and I definitely did and I'm then switching over to a gold marker to go with the sunshiny theme and once that is done I'm filling the box with some yellow tissue paper just to give the box a more gifty touch. next part is where you can get creative. I'm filling my box with some chocolate gold coins, a cute little yellow soap from World Market, a mini winter sun candle from Bath & Body Works, a sparkling limoncello hand cream that is also from Bath & Body Works, and then I'm sticking in a little Toblerone bar because a little chocolate never hurt nobody, and then a Burt's Bees honey lip balm and this cute little gingerbread man full of maple syrup from World Market, and then lastly a gold Essie nail polish. I think this gift is so cute and it's just very customizable depending on your budget or the person you're giving this gift to. As long as you label your box and fill it with nice gold, yellow, or even orange toned things, you will have successfully given somebody a box of sunshine. So we hope you liked this video you guys and the ideas that we came up with. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below which idea was your favorite. Follow us on all our social media links, which includes Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure to go give our Facebook page a new like and head over to our vlog channel because we are doing Vlogmas! Definitely go subscribe over there because we'd love to have you seeing our everyday lives. A little bit more casual style videos. You get to see a sneak peek into our lives and more behind the scenes of our videos. It's a good time. So go head over there for more fun stuff. We have a lot of fun there. So mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching you guys. And of course, don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe. Woo!